What's up my sanitarium cellmates? My name is Mari. Welcome back to Let's Go Insane. And today we have Next Gen. Hi, I'm Next Gen. That's Next Gen. I'm the artist formerly known as Next Gen. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing today is we decided that we're gonna do some food mashing up and it's gonna be lots of fun. Gonna come fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The idea is something I've had for a while, really. Um, I make a lot of these weird food combinations at home. Um, and I always had the idea of doing it with fast food, just going to two different restaurants and grabbing a couple different of their main dishes and mixing them together to see if they taste good. Uh, I would not recommend doing this on a daily thing. We do this very rarely, but we thought it'd be fun. Try a few bites of each of them. You he's, know? he's done this before, but not on camera. I don't have the pictures anymore. Him and T2's ex-boyfriend like put straight up bacon cheeseburgers from Burger King and put a quesarito in between them. It was the Bacon King quesarito burger. It was horrifying. It was, it was a It was a stroke on a plate. It was, but it was a dare and we did it. <laughs> also, little side note, because I haven't actually made much videos since this has happened. I made one with like Lily's Garden and I don't think I said anything, but we're engaged, bitches! Did you have to say bitches? Yeah! We're engaged. We're engaged. That's Yay. Pretty, that's pretty awesome. I said yes. <laughs> but yeah, so I want to do an engagement story time, but I haven't actually done one, so maybe I'll do one at some point. Today we are making the ultimate Tex-Mex. We live in Central Texas and we grew up in Tex-Mex. Um, so this is not the actual ultimate Tex-Mex, but as far as fast food goes, I think this will be a fun experiment. Today we are going to a Texas staple called Whataburger, um, and then we are going to an international staple called Taco Bell, which I know is very rare. Most of you will not know what that is, but um, we're gonna try to make uh, the Tex-Mex meal. So let's see if it's good. We will find out. Okay, so we have our Taco Bell and our Whataburger. And now we get to go home and combo. Combo, combo. Combo, combo. All right, so we are home and these are all the foods that we got. Are you excited? I'm hungry. Oh, I know. All right, let's get to combining. What are we starting with? Uh, probably the one that started it all. What do you mean the one that started it all? The crunch wrap. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to be mixing a Crunchwrap Supreme with a what single patty bacon, bacon cheeseburger from Whataburger. And we're just going to see how it goes. So let's do this, babe. Our hands are washed, so. Give him that cross section. Oh my god, that looks really appetizing. I'm so excited. All right. Hold on one second, honey. You need your plate. <laughs> You're messy. Cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> this is really good because the nacho cheese of the crunch wrap actually mixes very well with the burger itself. I'm gonna have to limit you or you're gonna <laughs> eat all of it, which is very unhealthy. I have eaten all day. Let me have two bites. <laughs> my fiance, ladies and gentlemen. I know, are you a winner? So, overall, one to five stars. Can we give it a solid four? I would also give it a four. This is a perfect Tex-Mex burger. It brings a lot of the uh, Mexican um, cuisine from Taco Bell, 
which I know is not real Mexican food. Nobody please get upset with me. Um, but as far as fast food goes, it brings that like the queso and the crunch with the Texas style burger, um, which has to have bacon. The cheese and sour cream tastes good with bacon. It's very delicious. So I would also, I'd give this a four, four and a half yeehaws out of five. Okay, yeehaws is what we're using apparently. All right, so what are we doing next? Wanna do the patty melt or do you wanna do the, bur the chicken burger first? Let's do the chicken burger. So this one is a whatever spicy chicken burger. And we're putting in some Nacho Bel Grande. Nachos in there. Also, tell us what other restaurants you would like us to go by. I was gonna say that at the end, but okay. You can say it again at the end. So I'm trying to get a little bit of the middle. Um, a little bit of tomato and the sour cream and the beef. And crunch. That was more about squish, but okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see that cross section. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What would be your favorite restaurants to combine? Like if we did an episode two? I'm gonna do like, maybe like Panda Express with, maybe Panda Express with like, um, something like Jack in the Box. I like the idea of like combining like a burger with some orange chicken or like putting curly fries stuffed into a egg roll. That sounds good. Right? All right, here we go. And cheers. A lot messier than you would expect it to be. Mm. Mm -hmm. This one kind of like the nachos get trampled out very easily. But you do get that crunch in the middle, which is nice. That is true. I would give this. I, I can't say it's something I would go out of my way to mix, so I'd probably give it a two and a half yeehaws out of five. I'd probably give it a two or three, yeah. Like a 2.5 of you, keeping track of who's who's. Because I will be eating all this later. Then what's the point of keeping track? Because then you can eat all yours. All right, the last one we're going to do is a patty melt mix with nacho uh, bel grande fries. So this is no not just your normal nachos, which they only have a limited time. But it's the Bel well, Grande. Annually. <laughs> well, annually, you know, limited time, whatever. They are my absolute favorite things to order off the menu, and uh, I'm very happy that these can get incorporated. So we're putting that with a water burger patty melt. I personally am not usually a huge fan of patty melts, if I'm honest. So I'm excited to like see how it tastes with the fries, and I'm honestly really excited because this looks so good. You want to tell them how we decided to come up with this idea like a year ago? You mean my original idea? The one that you, me, and Jesse were for, yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always try to take credit from these, from her and everybody else on our crew. Yep. Well, I get it from my little brother. Shout out to, uh, well, I guess it's just Kyle Sess now. Did he change the name? Yeah, he changed the name. Savage. Savage. Um... Uh, so she talked a little bit about it in her intro, but uh, me and uh, T2's old boyfriend, uh, Jesse, were hungry and he, we were driving around hanging out one day and he goes, hey, do you, what are you hungry for? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, kind of either want Taco Bell or Whataburger. He's like, what about, or Taco Bell or Burger King? And I'm, I'm like, I don't know, I can go for both. He's like, what about we get both? And so we get a, uh, we get a, what did I get? A quesarito and we got bacon king. So we put the quesarito inside the bacon king and dared each other to eat it. And oh my God, it was so delicious. But oh my God, I, you should never finish one of these creations by itself. Like savages. Oh my God. And they finished it too. I just got me a regular burger and some nachos. So you got the layer of the cheese fries on top of the patty melt. And cheers. That combo's really well. You don't expect it to combo well. It is really good. I, the toast makes it very easy to hold on to the fries. So you get the nice layer of cheesy friedness with the cheese of the patty melt. 
It is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this one. I say four, maybe five. I will give this one a four. E hauls out of five. I think I really, I still really like the Crunchwrap Supreme with the bur bacon burger the best, but. That's a close second. That's a really close second. Yes, I would also rank it that way. So the Quesarito uh, burger, water burger, so the Tex-Mex burger um, is first. Then the nacho fry patty melt would be second. And, and last, um, the spicy nacho chicken burger. Um, this was a lot of fun. I really want to do this uh, again with other restaurants and I can even make some stuff at home. I've made uh, buffalo pizza burgers. I have made the ultimate breakfast uh, sandwich. So we can definitely make a series out of this if you guys like this. Just comment down below what restaurants you'd like us to mix between and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, for now, I'm next to You don't know how our outros go, do you? Nope. Beyonce, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't even watch my videos. All right, guys, that is it. Let us know, like you said, what other restaurant choice can find down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to kill that like button. If you enjoy killing, kill the subscribe button as well. And we will see you next time, my sanitarium cellmates. Goodbye.